Hello and welcome to the Otio YouTube channel. In this series, we're going to be teaching you how to get the most out of the Otio platform. From uploading your first documents, to using the AI chatbot, accessing summaries, and creating notes. We're going to be uploading some documents prescribed by a sample essay-based task. Then we'll look at how to navigate the library and also how to chat with documents and access instant summaries. Keep watching uh, for a detailed guide. In this example, we have an essay-based question for a philosophy module. So we have the question and a prescribed reading list to work with this. The first thing you're going to want to do is download all of these uh, documents. Um, these are PDFs, as you can see. Um, and how you do this uh, in Google Chrome, we just press download and then just save it as such. So yeah, I'm going to go through all the documents and save them onto my device. So now that we've done that, let's access the Otio platform. There's a variety of ways to do this, but how I like to do this is using the extension. Simply navigate to the top on your toolbar and go to your library. Once that's loaded up, let's go to import the file. Go, and here we have the papers. So I'm just going to go through all of them. You can do this uh, in a batch, but I'm just going to go for the sake of um, just showing you how to drop paper in. You can just um, upload them as such. So now you can see they appear all in the Altio library. We want to delve into these, we can just click on the item. Now we're in the document, we can see it's passed nicely and we can access the summary here. Here's a nice, simple art summary, uh, which is academically tailored and will give you a good idea for uh, the source in question. As mentioned, this is a good overview and if we want to delve into anything deeper and pick the example of the Netherlands, we can ask the AI to do so. As we can see, it's given us a pretty comprehensive and strong answer, which you can ask follow-up questions to. So this chatbot is powered by AI, specifically Claude and GPT-4 models. This means that there's a wide range of things you can ask it about anything, really. So, and if we play around and experiment with the type of questions that you like the answers uh, the AI generates for you. For me personally, for academic papers or sources um, that maybe follow a little bit more of a scientific method, um, I'd like to ask firstly, what is the research questions um, from this paper? And then from there, I'll ask it to give a summary of the methodology, the results, and the limitations of each of those research questions. And this gives me a really good overview of the paper. Obviously for philosophy, this is a little bit different, but you can delve in and ask any question that you'd like. As you can see, you can do this for every single paper um, and receive an, a pretty strong summary as well and ask such questions going forward. So let's say that you want to move beyond uh, the scope of the prescribed reading from your lecturer or teacher. In this case, I've had an article from the Sanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy. If I wanted to add this to Otio, there's a few ways I can do this. Again, I can right click and add to Otio as such. I can also use the toolbar and click it and press save to library. Or I can just copy the link and go to Otio and paste it. I'd like to also note that if the source that you're trying to access is behind a paywall, um, then please download this as a PDF and upload it in. Due to privacy reasons, Otio doesn't support websites behind paywalls. So there you have it. In this video, we learned how to upload some documents to Otio, uh, to see them in the library, to access summaries of those documents, and also to chat with these. Finally, we learned the ways to upload a link to Otio. In the next video, we'll learn how Otio can assist in the creative process of producing output of high quality writing.